everyone. Thanks for joining us here on Radu Live this week. Before we talk about another interesting sport that I am being introduced to, just a reminder about the Batika Mega Jackpot that now stands at 200 million shillings. Actually, every week it stands at 200 million shillings. So over the weekend, make sure you play the Batika Grand Jackpot. The stake is just 49 bob. Imagine, and you could win that 200 million, or you could win... Uh, one of the bonus amounts if you get uh, most of your questions correct. Just go to batika.com, download the app, and you are in a business. So today we are speaking about uh, roll ball. And uh, joining me is uh, James, <coughs> sorry, my throat, James Ogola and Joanne Mumbi. How are you guys doing? You're good, good, you're good. James, let me start with you. Uh, what is roll ball? Just explain first, the sport before I ask you how you got into it. <laughs> first of all, thank you for this opportunity. I've been a fan. I call you CR22. CR22? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why 22? Even you don't know it's 22? Huh? Your career in the industry as media personality. 22 years? In 22 years. You're mistaken. It's radio. actually like uh, 30 years. It's 30. Oh. 20, 22 was only Radio Magic. Africa. <laughs> ah, Radio Africa. That was not my first job. <laughs> It wasn't. I worked for Reuters, I worked <gasps> for the BBC. BBC, I remember. Yeah, I'm sure you and remember. Then you, you but this is not me being interviewed, it's you. <laughs> She's smart. <laughs> what is Radu? What, so, <laughs> what love is Roll Ball? Lovely. <laughs> so uh, Roll Ball is an infusion of basketball, handball, and skates. So we play in a court that is similar to handball court, but now use skates. To play and the ball that is similar to handball. That's the simplest way you can put roll ball. Handball, skating, and basketball. And basketball, basketball yes. Yeah. So you you bought the ball is bounced. Your ball like is basketball, bounced, yes. But you're on skates. Yes. On skates. In a handball court. In a handball court. And if you shoot, you shoot the way a handballer would shoot. Yeah. You guys are just difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> to say you can play all these sports. And for you, uh, James, before I come to John, jo Joanne. John, 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 Joanne. 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 Uh, how did you get into roll ball? Because I understand you played ten sports. So, so is that far. why you t chose a sport that has like three so in one? So far, so far. <laughs> it is so far? Yes. Uh -huh. Until you retire, who knows? How did you get into it? So um, uh, I, I was a student, but then I was studying in Kenyatta University. Mm -hmm. And when I was in high school, I played a lot of sports, rugby, running, basketball. So when I come, came to the university, I was like, I wanted to do something different. So first I joined KUTT, which is Kenyatta University Traveling Theatre. Uh -huh. Acting, skits, skits, set books, yeah. So one day we were shooting, and then I passed a place in shopping center in KU called Shopping Center, and I saw this mm -hmm. game where guys were skating with the ball in their hand, and I was like, wait, if I can know how to skate, then I can use uh, these skates as a rail to shoot the videos. So ah. that was the idea, originally. So I was like, mm, by the way, so I think I got in touch with them. I think like three months later, now I went when I got time. And I just started training to skate, and then I entered to the post. I was like, let me try to be a goalkeeper. And yeah, I never left the post until when now I uh, stopped playing because of an injury. And that's it. That's how I joined into role. So it was, it was accidentally, <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> something <laughs> like that. <laughs> jo Joanne, how did you get into role? OK, so I'm probably among the guys he saw training at shopping center in ah. KU. So yeah. you were playing before him? I was, I was ahead of him at school. <laughs> yeah, so oh. I was, uh, what happened, I started skating as a way of go going to school. I used to live in Gidurai, mm -hmm. so I would skate to school. And then one time I'm skating in school, this guy approaches me and he's like, eh, I've never seen ladies skating. And we have this game that's coming to Kenya, we don't have a women's team, we would love to, you know, recruit you. So that's how I got into the national team directly. So um, we used to train there at shopping center. I've trained, uh, I mean, like roll ball. I went for the first World Cup then. That was 2013, mm -hmm. which was in Kenya. It oh, was like two months. Oh, you the World Cup? Yes. <laughs> it was like two months after I discovered the game. So they had now the tournament coming to Kenya, Kasarani. That was mm -hmm. just before Westgate. So what happens, like a week before Westgate, that's when we had, no, a week before the tournament, Westgate happened. Oh so no. most of the team withdrew. We had like three ladies team and probably like five men team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But considering that we had not trained, we just discovered the game as ladies because the guys had trained for like two more years, two years before us. Mm -hmm. We were number two out of three teams, which was like a win. 
which is a win. We <laughs> have to start somewhere. True. Yes. So, so how, what, is, what does the space look like in Kenya? Who plays? Is it just university? Who plays? Is it professional? What does the role ball environment in Kenya look like? So um, currently, uh, first of all, role ball has been in Kenya since 2011. Mm -hmm. And it yeah. was invented in 2003 in India by one Ra Raju Dabade, who is also a PE teacher. Mm -hmm. So how he be invented roll ball was, he was a basketball teacher. Uh -huh. So when the ball went outside the court, then there were some guys skating. So he was like, yeah, pass me the ball. So these guys just took the ball, passed to each other, Hadi and Fikia. I was like, mm, that can be a game. <laughs> Yo, so a year later, it was here. So currently we have played um, the National League. Has we have played it for the last eight years, mm -hmm. and the first October this year we are going for the ninth national league, and it is the first matches are going to Chuka this weekend, mm -hmm. and uh, we are having fourteen teams, men category, and then for twelve teams women category. Mm -hmm. Total yeah. in Kenya, I think we have like sixty teams. So, so it's far. played all over the country. It's played all yeah. over the country. And uh, both of you currently play in the league. Do you play in the league, um, or you've been playing in the league? I've been active until 2020. Mm -hmm. That's when I sort of took a break. Mm -hmm. But I was playing in the league uh, for a team called GOA Club. What happens with roll ball, like mostly gets in, it starts in the university. Mm -hmm. But when people graduate, they form their clubs. So that's what happened to our club. We were in uh -huh. KU when we graduated, we formed a club. And like that's what happens in the country. We have Mombasa teams, Kisumu teams, Nanyuki, Naivasha. Yeah. But it's yeah. a good way to create a countrywide network already. Yeah. yeah. So which club do you play for? Do you, you still play now? No, I'm not active at the moment. But, but you're active in the management GOA. of the sport? Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. So my laughing? main role, I, I sort <laughs> of like uh, promoted myself to organizing tournaments, mm. doing events for the game, trying to promote the game in the country. So that's mm. what I'm doing at the moment. What about you? Are uh, you James or you're Ogola? Ogola, I like prefer Ogola. I prefer Ogola. <laughs> no, we, yeah, <laughs> Jadala. Jadala. We, we have to celebrate our originality, and that is being African. That is a blessing. So, yeah, <laughs> I prefer going with the name Ogola. So you play and coach. Uh, now you play I, coach. I played. I played mm -hmm. up to 2017. Mm -hmm. Then after that injury, so I I took a break. You never leave a spot, by the way. Yeah. I always say, you never leave a sport. Mm -hmm. It's in you, it's in you, it's just somewhere. You just Hidden. find a different role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, you might get a kid who's interested in that sport and you become the coach and mm -hmm. take that kid to the Olympics and mm -hmm. stuff. So you never leave a sport. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, at 2017, I had an injury. So I took almost a break for like six months. Uh, during that time, I ventured to another new sport called floorball, which we'll discuss maybe in another oh different day. It's another ball. <laughs> <laughs> basic <laughs> basic uh, concept of floorball in the version ago of we had hockey. Ball here. Is yeah. It? So during that time, uh, my left hand wasn't good. That was the injury because I was a goalkeeper, and that really, I think that one of the toughest times as a player when you have an injury, yeah. and then the, be the things that you know how to do, you can't do them. It's like you almost lose meaning to life technically. Mm. So I was there. I can't play. And I haven't trained as a coach. So when floorball came, I did floorball. Then when I recovered, I came back to the game. But now I took on the course as a referee and as a coach. So since 2018, I've been a, co a coach and a referee. But the last two seasons, I have coached Kenyatta University. And so far, so good. Tell me, tell me some about the international competitions you participated in. Uh, Gola, you go first. And then somebody explained this. <laughs> bling bling okay. on set. <laughs> uh, this uh, is yours. <laughs> this is your bling yes. bling. Yes, yes. Where is the ladies on? These the ladies. Oh, oh that's ladies and men. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, man, and then yeah. for men. But oh, this is designed by Jagos. <laughs> they are big. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, tell me first yeah. about <laughs> some of the international competitions. You've both no. some of the competitions, both as player and coach. Because uh, I've seen your CV. I just see cup, 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 trophy, trophy, one, one, one. Whoa. God's plan. <laughs> and feel free to, uh, God's plan, feel God's free plan. to boast. No, we, don't, we don't boast, just achieve. Uh -huh. And then you shine a light to others so that they can achieve more than Tell you. Tell me about some of the competitions. Uh, mine aren't international. Mm. I've been international during my dreams a lot. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> no, but physically, <laughs> uh, as a player, I played uh, the league for seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I served as a captain at Kenyatta University. We played um, KUSA championships and other open championships like SPU. And I think my caps would be at least 
eight cups during that time. And then now as a referee. God's blessing, God's plan. <laughs> uh, as a referee, uh, there's, been a, there's a reason God only gave me a mouth and not the ability to shine like this because <laughs> I would boast. <laughs> well, I. Uh-huh. Uh, as a referee, um, since um, 2018, I've been able to officiate uh, junior matches, final matches, be able to officiate the leagues, uh, championships and tournaments. And it's so inspiring because they're tough matches. They're matches that uh, some referees are like, I, I, take I don't want that much yeah. because it's a derby and maybe it's decide, it decides who's taking the league and it's Pressure. maybe they have tied in points and maybe this team only needs a draw then they will win in goal difference. This other team just needs a win. One, one nil will do. So such matches at times you get referees are like, ah, Mr. Kushika here. But then you get blessed. You're like, Ogola, uh, you officiate this match. You know the seriousness and the... Uh, contability of this match and through God you, succe- you, handle the you successfully handle the pressure guys come to your face <laughs> but they don't understand this mm-hmm. there are three yeah. teams in 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 a match mm-hmm. there's the team a the team B and the team referee they are a team also and their duty is to make sure that the team a and the team B follow the rules so yeah so you're an all-rounder coaching refereeing playing I mean, that's fantastic. Uh, Mentor. Yeah. Dancer, <laughs> you're the cheering squad as well. Yes. John, tell me about some of these this bling bling. Oh, well. All right, so these ones that we have on set are from uh, 2019. Uh-huh. We went to what was it uh, India, in India, Dhaka, in India. Uh-huh. That was 2019, just before COVID happened, uh-huh. and that was the fourth Roll Ball World Cup. And ladies were number one. These four number one, the world champions, and the guys were number two here. Wow. Yeah. So before this, this is the second time the ladies have won the World Cup. They won in 2017. In, no, it was 2015 in India. And then 2017, so let me start from 2013. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 20 st- 2013, the World Cup was in Kenya. So the ladies were second position and men were five position. And then we went to uh, Bang- yeah. India in 2015. Uh, so the ladies were champions then. And then the guys were number two. Then we went to Bangladesh, Bangladesh, whereby we were all number three after mm-hmm. India and uh, Iran. And then now the latest one was now 2019, mm-hmm. which now we still stand against the current world champs. So ladies, world champs, and guys, uh, number two. Me want to take you back. So you went to India in a game they invented and you beat yes, them. Yes, and you beat them. <laughs> <That was Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about that. Tell them about that. So yeah, it's been a <laughs> rivalry between Kenya and India, I think since 2013 because we hosted the World Cup and they beat us in our country. Ah. So since then... But in your defense, it was their sport. Yes, yes, <laughs> also that. <laughs> and they beat us by a big margin. For the uh-huh. ladies, they beat us by 10 goals to one. We only managed to get one. Oof. So uh-huh. we've been having a grudge against India, and 2013, that's when we beat them for the first time in their country. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and then now the second time was now 2019. 19. Yes. And that's so why you have this. Yes. They're still <laughs> waiting for us because the next World Cup will be 2023 next year. Uh-huh. It will be in India again. And we're going to retain this Yes. <laughs> that's the plan. I, I want us to take a break. Let's take a break. When we come back, I want, to, I want to know what support you get and what we as fans, government, corporate, everybody else needs to do to make sure this comes back home. You know? So guys, let's take a break. We'll see you in just a bit. <laughs> Welcome back to Radu Live. Yesterday we were talking about a roll ball. I'm with Ogola, aka James Ogola, and uh, <laughs> Joan Mumbi, who are players, coaches, referees, the whole nine yards. This is a whole team. This is a whole <laughs> team. Before the break, yes, we were celebrating the fact that uh, our women are current world champions. Yes. In this, by the way, you're world champions in a sport nobody talks about. Do we need to change the, 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 yes, the narrative, huh? And make sure that you guys get the recognition you, you you deserve. My question now is 
what support do you get? How do you fund going for the World Cup? Is, does the government come in? Do they give you tickets? Um, how does that work? All right, so uh, what happens, uh, for the, there's a governing body for the Royal Ball, we which have is a international. Here. There's a federation, oh. mm -hmm. Kenya Federation, and there's the International Federation. Mm -hmm. So what happens when they are planning a tournament, because the game is still not known, they sponsor for the first team, like first seven players. Okay. They cater for um. that, so that they, they'll cater for you to go there, and then you can refund them to facilitate oh. the game to grow. You have to, to refund. <laughs> That's the plan. So uh, what happens, like, uh, if you need to take, like, a player plus the substitute, then mm -hmm. you need government support and all that. Do they give you? Sometimes it comes through, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, like, what they did, the la latest World Cup that we went to India, uh, that was 2019, we got support. They even paid for our training facility, our training at, uh, mm. at what's YMCA. the name? YMCA. So they, they paid for that, they paid the players for showing up and all that, and they also pay, pay, paid for now transport going to India and all that. So we got support then. They even got us kits, like we had skates, we had the uniform and all that. Even skates, you, you, you got? Was it skates? Yeah, skates. Yes, we got skates. These are from the government, actually. Yeah. Ish. The government <laughs> has been working. Yes. The government has been working. Yes. So that, that happened, but before that, it was a real struggle. Uh, I remember in 2015, Half the team went to India, half the team remained in the country. And it was until last minute, like we didn't know, we weren't, we didn't have our tickets. We showed up to the office. It was uh, Kencom here in Kencom. Mm -hmm. So we showed up with our bags, we were ready to go, we have trained and everything. And the tournament is starting in the next two days. So you're ready to travel. We get there and they're like, we don't have your <laughs> tickets. <laughs> yes. So some of the team, uh, some of the people were left at the office with a, uh, CS for ministry. I don't want to mention his name. If you go back, back there to 2019, <laughs> you'll <laughs> find him. And then yep. half the other team f w w were able to fly. So it was a struggle because for the ladies, it was only they had sponsored uh, six players. One of the players couldn't travel. She had gotten a job in Dubai. So there were five players. There were less Oops. one player. A team is how many players? Six players. Mm. So there were less one player and they still traveled without the player. But one of uh, the ladies luckily got a sponsor. And she was catered for travel, and she joined the team there. Yeah. In in fairness to the government, it's it's actually not. It's only Kenya where government has to step up for all sports. Eh? Their job is usually infrastructure and 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 uh, facilitating training at least. Yes. But in terms of looking after the sport, you're supposed to get your own sponsors. Do sponsors turn up and 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 support you? Um, well, um, there is more of maybe we try coming with understandings or partnerships with a couple mm. of uh, brands mm. because like I can say and shout out to GOA GOA's Glory Outreach Assemblies it's a church since the game came in Kenya uh, 2011 they actually the ones who have visually sp sponsored the national team tickets flights trainings really they, is yes. they have visually like done a lot that church Wabari Kiwe that's why you wanted to start today with a word of prayer. And we just rushed into <laughs> it. No, I, I'm still praying. <laughs> uh, thank you. You prayed for us. Please that's do. why you're successful. Yes. <laughs> that's, uh, so, yes. yeah, they're the ones who have really, like, held the hand of rollball in Kenya. Mm. And if it wasn't for them, we didn't know where this game is. But when it comes to also partnerships, uh, we have a couple of players, like her, for example, who have gone there after their gaming time. So they have come back with their brands to come and assist the game because she has 316 there's a lady called uh angie she has kiki Kicks. medical uh, there is uh, ambassador esther the public service she's even the one who gives us the referee kits so that's so you get a how lot of we partnerships in kind in but kind but ultimately for sport sport should be able to be your career and True. actually pay your bills not just your allowances and your costs you should actually be able to buy a car from sports, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. I see you are taking it a, a step further because you're actually doing your master's right now. Tell us about that. Yes. So um, my motivation for doing my master's, I'm doing master's in sports, business, and management, uh, Manu, like Manchester Metropolitan. So my main motivation was my situation in the country, like my experience. Uh, when I was talking about 2015, I was among the players who were left behind. And actually, we, we one time even slept at the airport because we didn't have, like, the flight delayed. 
and then we had to sleep there because we couldn't go, go, go back home and then come back early in the morning. Costly. Yes, it was a lot of expenses. So I've gone through a lot through rollball and I was like, what can I do to make sure that the next generation won't suffer as me? So that's why I'm studying this. And uh, my that's why I also have a company called 316 Sports. Mm -hmm. The main aim is to like get brands so that we can uh, partner in doing events and then maybe getting sponsors to the events and distributing the money to players, making sure the money gets to the players. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, this is a lot of, this is an area that we really need to focus on in yeah. this country. I can't remember which guest, there's a guest I, 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 um, I interviewed, I think it was Maria Melosime, the um, lady in Mombasa who's just written a book recently, Boots Don't Lie. And she's actually, she did the same. She's like, what's missing in our sports? And it's a sports management from a professional perspective. Yeah, yes. Because we're always here saying, oh, that yeah. player should be, should run the federation. That player should, yet they've never really studied sport. Yes. And managing and playing are two different, two different. things, yeah? True. Um, wh what more do you think you can bring from, from this experience, um, from this knowledge? Yeah, so f for instance, I, c I can say, um, in sports, we don't earn a lot from broadcasting our events. Mm. They come, broadcast the event, and we don't get anything. So if we can uh, do, like, have the broadcasting rights, selling broadcasting rights to the media station, and then now that's how the sponsors will come because now it's a regular show maybe, like we can have, like, Saturday 7 mm. p.m. or 6 p.m. in the mm. evening. There's a game that's uh, been aired. And then now sponsors will come and buy like uh, sponsoring the kids and all that and that's how the players will get the money visibility. it's yeah. a catch-22 and i'm talking because i've been on the broadcast side of sports and the challenge with paying for the sports again is how many viewers do you actually get to that sport so yeah. i always throw it back to the people playing playing sport and ask you how are you popularizing your sport because at the end of the day these people want to sell products and i keep telling every guest here they want to sell Product. product so they have to make sure they have eyeballs I people know, are yeah. watching and i like the fact that this starts from the university because it means that's an automatic audience automatic. Yeah. so you almost need to take data from who watches you every week so that you can prove to corporates or broadcasting houses and say you know what the university of, Ni of, of ku, of KU, KU alone these many people watch us yeah. in, in uh, ld in all the campuses around the country this many people already involved and I know you're not part of the federation, but if you, I'm sure you have discussions with them. Yes. Um, with your experience, you need to get in there. <laughs> That's true. But That's the next point. These are things, you, <laughs> are things you need move. to put together. There's someone I had to tell, open a social media account, because nowadays they want to know about your reach. Mm -hmm. And your reach you can be through social. It can be through, through the physical games. As you're saying, it could be broadcast. But I remember a challenge where we were showing one league on one of the stations I worked for, but nobody was watching it. Wow. So you've been told to pay rights. And as a broadcaster, you also okay. have business. Yeah, yeah, you you're opening your eyes. That. You're How opening your eyes. Open. Other <laughs> corporates are like, okay, if I come and sponsor the broadcast, who is who's watching? Who's, who's who's watching who's to see my adverts halfway through? Too. So mm. there's a whole ecosystem that needs it's to. Good. And I'm so glad you're studying it because then you can say, you know what, you players are doing their job. They as are. Had That's true. Yeah. Look, they are. <laughs> players are doing their job. Yeah. Yeah. It means you're waking up early. Or Training, training, um, and I hope federation is doing their job. I hope government seems government steps up. It's stepping um, up the same. So Step we also up. have to ask ourselves, as much as I like saying serekali, serekali, what can I do? Okay. You know. So Go what on. is your wish list, uh, Ogola, for yeah. the sport? Now, if I got the wish list, mm. also on this topic. Absolutely. Uh, one of the most interesting things you come to understand about rollball is it's a family, in that you get. Maybe in other federations, they have never even seen their president or even <laughs> second general. Yeah. But in roll ball, every league day, like now the games will be at Chuka. Mm -hmm. I'm very sure at least two, if not all of the executives will be there. Mm -hmm. The president, the vice president, the SG, the They're treasurer. Visible. They're visible. And th they'll always be there. And the most motivating thing is they even come with their family. Mm. And then all the players also come with their families. So at times, you get that a game is being played, but now the crowd is so energetic. And some old grannies are like, eh. And that always gives us that motivation to continue the sport because now we know that there's a future. Because these kids who are watching, yes, it's in them eventually, eventually yes. they'll just join it. 
So we just hope, if we could, I'm not saying about fans, but we could just get it into the co curriculum. Because ah. if roll ball could get into primary games and high school games, because now it's already in Kusa, yeah. and it, it's already being pushed to FASU and FISU, mm -hmm. now that is international. So now we'll have the complete channel where a kid starts in CBC as a kid, roll ball, high school, campo, FISU, goes to a club, internationals, goes to coach and whatever. So now we have a complete circle. Then the, the whole ecosystem Then the whole ecosystem and comes understand through. the sport as well. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not going to watch a sport. I don't even know how it works, the scores, the this, mm. the, you know. Yeah. But it sounds like you're on the right track. Yes, that's, oh yeah. that's really trying. What's your wish list? Um, After you become the president. Okay. <laughs> 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 I've always... This I've jumped the gun. <laughs> yeah. That's the next step. <laughs> it's the next step. So I've always envisioned having like an N NBA Africa, like NBA, not NBA, like roll ball, version of roll ball in Africa, ah. whereby we have tournaments being played in Kenya, we're going to Tanzania, we're going to Ivory Coast, we're going to South Africa, like having the, the way NBA is structured. Like, uh, yeah. Or like the Champions League, because there's even yes. the Africa yeah, yeah, Champions yeah, yeah. League, yes. the CAF Champions League. Yes, roll ball. Where now a version of roll ball, because it's so easy. It doesn't need much. You just, okay, getting the skates could be like a they hardship for most players. It's not cheap. Like getting a boots, mtush, nikama 3K, 4K there. And then getting the new ones, it's like 10,000. So that's the biggest and I'm challenge. Sure for competition, you need a good yes. set. Yes, but mtumba, it's good quality than the new ones. Because really? <laughs> new ones, you get them from China. These ones... You get them from China. You get the bread. The bread is plastic. It's meant to be like a metallic blade okay. and the boots. Yeah, so that's the main challenge. But once you get the skates, the wheels, you can replace them. And the wheels are like 400 bob. Each. Ah. Yeah. Each, each. So each. Yeah, yeah 400 four bob each. So you essentially need eight wheels. Eight. Yes. Yeah. Plus spares. Yeah, I'm yeah, assuming. yeah. It will take you for like a year. Okay, if you're not a heavy skater, the guys who are big bodied, yeah. so <laughs> they go even two months. <laughs> so far, it's light weight. <laughs> yeah. So you never change your skates. And then you need the helmet, of course. You need the helmet. Yeah. Uh, you need uh, guards for your knees. You can't play an international match without the guards and your elbow guards mm -hmm. and a helmet. Yeah. In terms of the, 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 the cost of the game, you play on a, on a basketball surface? But it has to be concrete. It has to yes, be concrete. Yes. So when we played Kasarani, they have the wooden floor, and that's ah. good for it. And then uh, now we don't have like pitches for playing. We just use parking lots. Also in Kasarani, there's uh, an area there. So that's mm -hmm. where we hold our tournaments mostly. Oh. KU parking lot, uh, J Court parking lot. Where else? Uh, Great Sea University and Pika, they also have a big basketball court, which is like two basketball courts. Yeah, that's we, ma we merge. So it's like uh, Maram, yeah, Kablu sometimes, but that's you. <laughs> has dense, yeah, yeah. Oh it has dense, so it's yeah. all, yeah. But yeah. It's it's solid. Yeah, it's solid. It's not dangerous. You could actually you could play here mm. if it was big enough. I think it's part it's of the risk that you on take. On my floor? Playing. Yeah, on your floor. This is good. This is wooden floor, what they have in Kasarani. Yes. Ah, yeah. okay. And then the ball, the ball size is? Basketball. Oh, yes. it's the same size as the basketball. Yes. Basketball. yes. Size is seven, size five. But a smaller one for kids. We need to do a tour. We're going to do a tour on all these sports we that I've never had. We should invite you to Kasarani. So that I I come and play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I broke my ankle this year. This thing looks like I can break it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could roller skate, but roller skating is easier because it's literally on the shoe. Mm -hmm. the, the skates are around. So this blade is... So actually, okay. since you'd want to see the game, we are having the first ever junior championships come December. Yeah. In December. So. As long as it doesn't clash with the free. World Cup. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this excuse you for one match. You come and watch. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll have like a phone to the side. Like, ah, and what the are the dates? The dates are yet to be communicated. To be communicated. But yeah. I believe it will be a very successful tournament. So now on my wish list is I really want to make a international standard caught in Kenya because most of the problems that you've understood are you also pitch. infrastructure based because you see when people train on a train called Lami, I'm on a train called hard surface mm -hmm. lot. but now when you go to World Cups mm -hmm. those guys that have those wooden in, uh, indoor arena uh, venues so these wheels won't behave the same 
kwalami and in that so kwalami trained on a different yeah. surface kwalami kuna yo grip so just do ha and you will stop this one you want to pale you do ha and you're still going you're like sliding <laughs> sliding <laughs> cuz there is yeah. there's a clip uh when you're playing against india men's final mm. so there's a good player i'll just say his name cuz he's good edit here <laughs> so this guy he's one of the best players in, like he's been an mvp in four out of five championships so mm-hmm. you can get the idea maybe he's the cristiano of that time so he's still the cristiano is that he's still yeah. so this guy our kenyan defenders they're skating and then you know you're back skating because these guys are coming mm. you're back skating so this guy comes and then made us stop Everyone and <laughs> step to the side <laughs> <laughs> Our players are going inside the post with the keeper like we are. We had like three other <laughs> goalkeepers. <laughs> and he was, and he was open. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the, the way he stopped, guys tried tried to stop with him, but they added like another you five meters. So so the goalkeeper first had like other goalkeepers in <laughs> the post. Yeah. The players are in. We're laughing, but so. it's not funny. And it's the same story with volleyball. Because I was asking why we have so many good volleyballers in like Western Kenya, but they yeah. never make it to the national team unless they've trained in, Nai- trained in, Nairobi. in Nairobi. And it's an issue of courts. Everywhere in the country apart from Nairobi, they train outdoors. But ah, competition is, is never indoors. outdoors. Ah, it's indoors. always indoors. So yeah. the, the, it's a big challenge for our volleyball, yeah. which is ridiculous. It's something so simple. You think, in fact, they said we just need a warehouse. <laughs> we put we don't have infrastructure. You know? as well. yeah. But the infrastructure yeah. is a huge. Now there, the government look. needs to step up. Yeah, there, the government needs to step if up. If it doesn't step up, I'm just looking at making that yeah. indoor arena that can hold like not one court, but it's four, and then mm. I separate them with the net, yeah. and then you have all the facilities you need be it a gym, be it a place to uh, eat, whatever. You get me? Because most of even these players, usually, like now in floorball, because now that one are more advanced, mm. you tell them, yo, guys, come over to Kenya. Come and play a match. You know, we are with them in WhatsApp groups. And they tell us, actually, we'd love, we'd love to come to Kenya. But our federation wouldn't allow us to travel because of your facilities. Below your fa- yeah, your facilities would render us injuries, and no team wants to need something take like the yeah. team. Rwanda built with their basketball. Yes, exactly. that's, that's what we need. That's exactly. what we need. That's but guys, we're out of time. I've actually enjoyed this conversation. <laughs> I'm so glad. Let me ask you a question. Is it true that uh, there's no football team that owns a stadium in Kenya? True. Wow. True. Both Gore and AFC were given land by the late President Moi, retired President, late pres- retired President Moi, mm-hmm. but they've never built it because of the cost of building a stadium. And it's a stadium, not even a, not a pitch. There are a few corporate sites that have a corporate pitch, but you'll find that pitch is for, like KCB, you'll find their pitches for rugby, it's for, it's yeah. for all, all these sorts of sports. Um, but as in a team that is its stadium, like Emirates Stadium or Old Trafford for United, none, none. That's crazy. A few like Mumias, they have a pitch yeah. that, be, that belongs to the company. So you get Even like Bandari, they have the Mombasa Sports Club, but it mm-hmm. belongs to Kenya Ports Authority. So well, yeah, yeah, that's a shame. That is why when Nyaya was renovated for, I don't know uh, how many decades, <laughs> uh, <personally. laughs> Kasarani was being used for politics, we were stuck. We were playing mm. games at Toyoyo, which is not yeah, yeah, competition size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, competition quality. But unfortunately, so we are out of time. Yes. Yes. She had yes, a chance of a question. I won't ask a question. Oh, you also want a question. But actually, work bearing gifts. Yes. Uh, this is my last What's medal. That? What? In SPU. <laughs> this is 2017. This 2017. Was my last, yes. This was my last tournament as a player. Uh-huh. And you have really, I'll call you the mother of the urban sports. Because your channel has Radu Live, has tackled that's sports really, that so people had no idea <laughs> right. Try. So on behalf of those people that have come before us, that are not traditional sports, and people that will come and through your platform, you'll open for them doors. I will just award you this award. <laughs> <laughs> when you say you say that uh, people can just <laughs> wake up, <laughs> uh, no, you have. To. No, I am so honored. I am so you so have honored. To. But that is a big thing. You this have is to. something you should be showing your grandkids. No problem. I will show them. So you'll send them to my house. house. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell them, go to ca- ca- I'll, tell them. House. <gasps> I'll tell them that there is a G O A T, a goat, who has the medal. It's better in our hands because it will be seen by more and it will inspire more than being in my house. 
Plus they have, have other medals they play with. That's true. That's true. So. You know, this is huge. This is huge. I just want to say thank you. Ogola, I want to say thank you. I'm going to frame it. I am going to frame it, and if you come again, you'll find it hanging like somewhere. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. But so thank you so much. Thank you so when much. When was the last time we devalued your medal? At least, I may feel. You can't just be <laughs> talking about <laughs> sports <laughs> and. Get you guys. Thank I'll you. I'll do the last time we devalued our medal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Number one. But we're spewing to pick any key to finals, but we'll keep at Lishika Penatatu and to back in a year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, thank a, you so pleasure. much. Thank you for watching the do live. This has been uh, Ogola <laughs> James, of course, uh, yeah. uh, Joanne yeah. Mumbi, yeah. and yeah. Roll Ball. Oh. Look out for them, guys. Look at these trophies. Look out for them. They're doing a fantastic job oh. in Roll Ball. But thanks for watching the do live, and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye. See you.